So as we sit here on April 11th, we are fairly certain that Tom Brady is definitely not coming back, right? Fairly certain and definitely. I mean, those those make sense together, right? Sure. Well, now the Bucks move on, and Todd Bowles has to go find the next man up. When you replace a player of that magnitude, first of all, you don't replace them. You know, you lose aura, you lose the expectation of being great, that doesn't mean you can't be great. You know, you just have to do it more as a team. You know, we did it as a team when he was there, but, you know, he was such a great player and a great person that you focus all on that. And now that that is gone, you know, the perception is that everything else is gone. And really, it isn't. We have a lot of good players on our team on both sides of the ball. We have some pieces to fill in, but we have a lot of good football players on our team. But do they have a quarterback? Let's hit the roster reset button on the NFC North. Uh, one big Control-Alt-Delete, or the South, I beg your pardon, the South, <laughs> Andrew. Let's hit Control-Alt-Delete on me. Use the second take, NFC <laughs> South. Uh, Cam Wolf and Jeff Chidia with me. Gentlemen, hello to you both. Uh, let's go through the quarterback options here as they sit picking 19th overall. Cam, what do you say? Yeah, Andrew, the big question for Tampa is how do you move on beyond Tom Brady in 2023? And as it currently stands, they have an open competition between Baker Mayfield and their 2021 second round pick, Kyle Trask. They believe that, you know, you put the pieces together, you want to see more from Trask. He hasn't got the opportunity on the field. But obviously, that's not something that excites a lot of Bucks fans, which is why I found it interesting today when Tom Pelissero reported that tomorrow, Will Levis, the Kentucky quarterback, Quarterback is coming in to visit Tampa. And they also are scheduled to have Tennessee quarterback Hendon Hooker visit this week as well. And so they're clearly doing their homework on this quarterback class. They have a lot of needs here in Tampa, but they clearly haven't ruled out taking a quarterback. I haven't heard a lot of buzz that they're going to trade up high in the draft for a quarterback, but if the right guy falls into their lap, maybe it's Levis, maybe it's Hooker, could they take a quarterback and change that sort of trajectory of the team? What's been interesting about Tampa is they've been really focused on reloading and not necessarily rebuilding. They re-signed Le Levante uh, Davis. They re-signed Jamel Dean. They didn't trade Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, despite a lot of spe speculation. And so if they move on beyond the quarterback area, there's a lot of pos potential areas they can go in this draft. They could go running back to fist the worst rushing team in, all in the league last year. They can go offensive tackle to get a new left tackle, or they can go edge rushers. They brought Iowa's Lucas Van Ness in this week and done a lot of work at that position. Jeff? Yeah, Cam, you know, people do kind of forget that there is talent on this team, as Todd Bowles alluded to, and you talk about some of those players they have coming back. This is not a team that is in dire straits, but they're in a very tricky position when it comes to finding that quarterback of the future with that 19th pick. You don't know who's going to be there. I would love to see them fortify that offensive line. We know about the problems that they had with injuries last year. A lot of talk about moving right tackle Tristan Wirfs to the left side to replace Donovan Smith, which is a move I like because, again, you mentioned that rushing attack. they got to be able to run the football better. 32nd in the league last year, if they get that run game going, it can make things a lot easier for that supporting cast around Baker Mayfield and a defense that was – Top 10 in points allowed. Baker Mayfield's best season 2020 in Cleveland. The play action game was working and working well. Ended up with them winning a playoff.